Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 5th grade concept of solving multi-step problems. These problems will involve all four operations and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's start with this example right here. Let's say you're wanting to build an enclosure for a dog in the backyard. And you want to know how much it costs. So what we're doing is we're looking for the C, the cost. The cost is going to come down to two parts. You need to buy the fence and the fence starts from here and goes all the way over here and goes to this part right here. And so the fence, the total amount of fence that you need is going to be 36 feet. And that little asterisk right there, that's going to be feet. Now, the fence itself can only be bought in four foot chunks. So I'll write that down here, four foot pieces. And each piece is going to cost five dollars so we have four foot pieces at five dollars each and then you see we have this part right here in the middle that's actually the gate and so i'm just going to label that as a gate it's a single unit and that's going to cost fifteen dollars by itself because it's a little bit more complex so the question is is how much is this going to cost well we can write an equation to solve this we have two pieces we need to think about we need to think about the fence so the fence is going to be 36 feet. We know that from here all the way around here is 36 feet. But we do not buy it in individual pieces. We buy it in four foot pieces. So what we need to do is we need to see how many four foot pieces we need. So I'm going to divide 36 by four. I'm going to put some parentheses around here just so we can see that that is one operation we're doing together. And then once we can figure out how many pieces we need, we take our 36 feet and divide it into four foot pieces. We then need to multiply it by the cost. It's $5 for each four foot piece. So we're going to multiply that by five. And then after all of that is done, we cannot forget the gate. The gate is a single piece and we know it's going to be $15. We can add a plus 15 and using the order of operations, we're going to do that last anyway. So that is our equation. C equals 36 divided by four times five plus 15. So now let's start moving from left to right. Remember order of operations, we go left to right. And we always do the multiplication and division first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this 36 divided by four. That's going to make nine. Now we need to bring up the times five and the plus 15. So we simplified the 36 divided by four into nine, and we still have two other operations here. Next, since we're using order of operations, multiplication always comes before addition or subtraction. So let's rewrite that down at the bottom. But this time, we are going to write 45, because that is what we simplify 9 times 5 to. We still need to bring down the plus 15, but we finally have one operation left. And we can say 45 plus 15 equals $60. And that is how we can use a letter, in this case C, to represent something to solve an equation. Now it's time for you to try. Let's say you have a huge rock collection that you've been building over many years, 500 rocks. It's so large, in fact, that your mom is making you get rid of some because she is sick and tired of rocks being all over the house. So you come up with a plan. You have five cousins, three boys, and two girls that you want to use to help get rid of some of your rocks. You're going to give each of these cousins 35 rocks each. The question is, how many rocks will you have left? We're going to represent that with R after you give each of your cousins 35 rocks each. Go ahead and set up an equation and then solve. When you have your answer, start the video back up and check your work. Let's start with the amount of rocks we have to begin with, 500. Since we're giving rocks away, we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract five sets of 35 because we have five cousins and each cousin gets 35 rocks. So to figure out what that quantity is, since it is in parentheses here, we're going to go ahead and do that first. Five times 35, so well, that's going to be 25, carry the two, 175. So what I can do is I can rewrite this as 500. That's how many rocks I begin with. We're going to give away 175. So let's line that up for subtraction to see how many rocks we have left. Do a little bit of regrouping. 10 tens, carry that over to 10 ones. That's so really we are going to have 325 rocks left.